you'll start gaining a greater perspective of it all because you are planning. It takes great discipline on your part, but it will soon lead to a new habit, a habit of mastering your time, a habit of discipline that will lead you to the good life. Now, if visually seeing the future is new to you, if you've never developed a game plan before, let me offer a few tips. There are two things that you need to understand before you create a game plan. Number one, a game plan, a visual chain of your future is like a spreadsheet. Instead of listing numbers, you list activities. It's like a to-do list. And number two, the technique of developing a game plan can be used for a single day, a single project, or a variety of projects that are happening simultaneously. Here's how you do it. First of all, you need to buy a pad of graph paper. Game plans work best on graph paper. So take a sheet of graph paper and make vertical columns of the number of days this plan is to cover. Then on the left-hand side of the paper, write the heading, Activities. Under this heading, list all of the activities to be accomplished within your time frame. Let's say, for example, that you've got one week to finalize a marketing plan. It's an overwhelming amount of work to complete, but it's got to be done. So break it down piece by piece.